Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to go in great detail and talk about the essence of creating a Shopify account and start selling in New Zealand. Now obviously guys there are chances for individuals to become financially independent and obviously as we are living in the global era we can grab these opportunities by both hands and that is the reason why we are making all these amazing videos for you guys to give you guys an opportunity to select the right methodology and strategy to help you sell on Shopify. Now, if you're an individual that is thinking about setting up a shop in New Zealand, then this is definitely the video for you. Now, Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you build your business to sell online, offline, and everywhere in between. And you can discover the reason why millions of entrepreneurs have chosen Shopify to build their businesses. And obviously, with millions of merchants worldwide available, it gives us an opportunity to understand and look at the strategies that they've used to scale and become successful drop shippers in representation of 170 countries this is truly a opportunity to sell to everyone across the globe and a total us e-commerce of 10 percent that is alone done on shopify.com and a global economic activity of 444 billion dollars now one of the things that i personally love about shopify is the fact that you can bring your vision to life with a simple drag and drop store creator there's no coding expertise that is required guys that literally means that you don't need to hire a front-end or back-end developer. You can select from customizable templates that are created by a community of world-class designers. Even more than that, guys, you can level up with the apps and add more features and functionalities to your online stores with the apps built by trusted Shopify developers. And even more than that, guys, you can send online, in person, and around the world with the marketing tools and social integrations and sales channels that you need to bring your product in front of customers and obviously with the best converting checkout on the planet and a flexible point of sale to power your retail store and from the first touch to the full funnel you can find new shoppers with the seo social media and the content marketing tools that help you reach customers where they are and engage with customers and take control of your customers data to build custom audience and to explore the customers inside that drive ongoing growth guys and obviously you can manage your inventory track payments and view real-time business insights all in one place and you can fulfill every order and manage the money where you make it if you don't have an account guys don't worry click in the description below on the link and get shopify for 90 days or just click on the free trial as you click on start free trial it takes you to the next page where they ask you a couple of questions for example which of these best describes you because this will help them to set up the based on your business needs are you just starting off or already selling online or in person just say i'm just starting starting off then hit next where would you like to sell and you can pick as many as you like and you can always change these later and obviously you can be an online store an existing website or blog social media online marketplaces in person we're gonna go with the online store to create a fully customizable website after selecting that you have to select the store name now i always mention to individuals to make sure that they go in great detail and do their research before selecting a name because the name is the first line of defense for you in order to capture your audience now obviously if the name does not reflect quality then that is definitely going to be an issue so look at your competition understand the niche that you're entering then base your name on that element and you'll be able to come up with a very good name for this video we're just going to use an example to make sure we can get into our store so this is the example we're going to use and hit next once you do that you need to select where your business is going to be located because the location to set up your default shipping rates recommended app and so much more now because we're creating this for new zealand so we're going to scroll up over here and find new zealand so this is where new zealand is going to be once we've selected new zealand there's going to be a pop-up that says that there's going to be issues with taxes and duties and obligations because we're currently not not located in New Zealand we're located in another country but we want to focus on developing a store in New Zealand so we're going to fix all these issues as we go forward to our store so it's going to be tax and duty obligations payment issues shipping issues localization Shopify benefits and terms and services so we're going to look at each one of them so first let's hit next and set up our store but the last step is before we sign up we need to create a Shopify ID we can create with our emails with our Apple ID with our Facebook ID or with our Gmail ID now I personally use my 
Gmail account because the Gmail account is very easy to use. All you need to do is select your Gmail. This is what your dashboard is going to look like on the left hand side. You're going to have home, orders, product, customers, content, analytics, marketing, and discount. Now, if you click on orders, you can see your draft and abandoned checkouts. If you click on products, you can see all the products that are available that you want to sell. You can add products and find products you want to sell. You have your inventories, your transfer, your collections, and your gift cards. Then you have customers. You can import the customer or you can add a customer. Now, if you have multiple accounts on different platforms, you can import all those customers to your Shopify account. And the content is very interesting because you can create a meta object store file because that allows you to group fields and connect them to different parts of your store. And you can use them to create custom content or data structures, guys. And obviously with analytics, you can get reports and live views of what exactly is happening on your store. And the marketing gives you chances to create campaigns and automations. And obviously discount is something that is always liked by all individuals. And you can create discount codes and automatic discounts that apply at the checkout. You can also use the discounts with compare at prices. So it's very simple and straightforward to use, guys. Now, before we go in and check everything out, I want to show you that you also have a themes that are available. And Shopify have very unique theme, guys. And some of them are free and some of them are paid. Now, the popular themes that are available are the free themes, but you can get paid themes as well. So obviously it's very simple and easy to use. So you have all these themes which are completely free. I always recommend individuals to focus on the free themes. And obviously once your Shopify account starts getting developed and you get more individuals coming to your Shopify account, you can always go ahead and create and use a paid theme. But that depends on how you're doing your business. If you're following everything we're teaching you step by step, then you're not going to have a problem. So now let's head over to settings. Now once you click on settings, this is a pop up that's going to come up on the left hand side are you going to have your plans your buildings your user permissions your payments your checkout your shipping and delivery your taxes and duties your location gift cards and market if you scroll down you can have more options over here that you can check out as well then the main thing that we need to make sure is the fact that our address is correct it's in new zealand that is 100 correct after doing that we have to go to the billings now in the billings we have to make sure that all the elements that we have selected are correct now as you can see your current billing currency is set in the us dollars so as you scroll scroll down we're going to make sure that everything else is right in place now we do not have a tax registration over here so we need to fix that so let's head over to tax and duties now once we go to tax and duties as you can clearly see that we can sell in australia in canada in european union in hong kong and in israel so if you scroll down we're going to make sure that the duties are going to be included so we're going to include the taxes and the prices we're going to include the charges on the shipping rates and we're going to include vat on digital goods after doing that just hit save so all this information can get saved now this information has been saved so let's scroll up and head over to the elements of markets now the market is very important guys because our primary market is going to be new zealand now once you click on manage we'll be able to see all the elements that are available the new zealand dollar is going to be what's going to be used for products and pricing and the us dollar is going to be used for international pricing so anyone that comes from international level will be able to look at the prices in the us dollars but our local market is going to be in the new zealand dollar the nzd the domain language is correct the duties and imports have been sorted out and the shipping is also sorted out now this is the main elements over here the last thing you have to make sure is make sure that you have the right domain that's available that's going to be based in new zealand so this is perfectly okay now and this is our primary store now if you got any questions whatsoever guys you can always ask me in the comment section down below if you're wanting to start selling in new zealand this is the methodology that you need to follow i'm here to support you i'm here to guide you and assist you and if you haven't subscribed to our channel guys do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon share this video with your friends and family and stay tuned for our next video until then take care